हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक सो टुडेज टॉपिक फॉर डिस्कशन इज वलनरेबिलिटी असेसमेंट एंड पेनेट्रेशन टेस्टिंग वी विल अंडरस्टैंड बाय वलनरेबिलिटी असेसमेंट एंड पेनेट्रेशन टेस्टिंग बोथ आर इम्पॉर्टेंट हाउ दीज आर सिमिलर टू इच अदर एंड वॉट इज डिफरेंस बिटवीन वलनरेबिलिटी असेसमेंट एंड पेनेट्रेशन टेस्टिंग सो ग्रेब इन नॉट पैड एंड लेट्स बिगिन as we all know that vulnerability is a weakness in our security system or organization environment and vulnerability assessment involves thoroughly inspecting an environment to identify potential points of compromise or weaknesses vulnerabilities that may be identified by an assessment include network vulnerabilities like open ports or misconfigured firewalls unpaid software weak encryption protocols poor physical access control at buildings offices or server rooms lack of surveillance cameras or unsecured entry points vulnerabilities in insecure applications like insufficient input validation insufficient input validation means where applications fail to properly check and validate the data it receives from users this leaves vulnerabilities like sql injection or cross site scripting poorly designed or implemented web facing services flaw in design of websites or online services are vulnerable to sql injections or cross site scripting disruption to utilities like power and telecommunications unreliable supply chain when you are dependent on your suppliers who have weak cyber security measures that can introduce vulnerabilities like compromised software or hardware components can be integrated into your organization right untrained employees may fall victim to phishing attacks or social engineering attacks inefficient or ineffective process poorly defined change control incident management and in fact some organization don't have these processes in place so it is a vulnerable situation right poorly maintained or old equipment if organization is using outdated hardware or software that is no longer supported that may have known vulnerabilities that remain unaddressed making them attractive targets for exploitation right vulnerability assessment can be manual or automatic Automated tools help process, compile and analyze large amount of data while manual tests are better for subjective area where content is not easily quantified and required judgment like business processes, physical security reviews or source code reviews. Right? It's crucial to have qualified staff interpret results from automated assessments. as these assessments may contain data that is not accurate such as false positives false positive indicates vulnerability where none exists vulnerability assessments may also miss the identification of vulnerabilities that required sequence of chain techniques to exploit and to validate results of vulnerability assessments organization may perform penetration testing against these identified vulnerabilities so penetration testing involves exploiting vulnerabilities to get insights about them and it often requires manual intervention on top of automated scanning penetration testing uses the same tools as those used by real adversaries which can help to establish the extent to which identified vulnerability can be exploited there are different types of penetration tests which are conducted in an organizations and these tests can be conducted by internal or external teams and rules may vary from full knowledge of environment to zero knowledge test in which the testing team does not have any knowledge of the environment being attacked so there are two types of environments in which testing is done one is like full knowledge of the environment and another is no knowledge of the environment the hired ethical hackers use various techniques possibly exploiting multiple attack vectors to gain unauthorized access the objective is to reach a critical system exfiltrate sensitive information or compromise a specific individual account each penetration test is unique in nature and careful consideration needs to be given while planning a penetration test engagement scope time constraint targets exclusions 
and authority to carry out these activities needs to be clearly defined in advance. Scope defines boundaries and limitations of testing activities like which systems or networks or applications are subject to testing. Time constraints set the duration for penetration tests. Organizations may have specific window during which testing can occur without affecting regular op operations. Like any financial institution would want to do this testing during non-business hours to avoid disruption to consumer transactions, right? Target needs to be defined like uh, what is the target in penetration test assets which will be assessed. Clearly defining assets is important to get the best results. Like a web application penetration test may only target the login system, payment processing and user data storage areas, right? Exclusion includes activities which are outside the scope during testing, like any third-party services like cloud, production database with sensitive information, or testing during peak hours. These may be included in the exclusion site. Authority to carry out activities means defining the level of permissible actions. So, let's discuss about false positives and zero-day exploits. A vulnerability assessment that identifies no vulnerabilities does not mean that system is not vulnerable. It means only that the type of vulnerabilities that the assessment was intended to detect were not detected, right? Failure to detect a vulnerability may be result of its absence or it may be false negative arising from misconfiguration of a tool or improper performance of manual review or because of defining limited scope. In case of zero-knowledge penetration test, which fails to identify opportunities to exploit the system, it may be because the team was unlucky or they lacked imagination and it might not be true for outside attacker, right? Because in zero-knowledge penetration test, the attacker does not have any information of the environment. Even if no known vulnerabilities exist in the system, the system may still remain vulnerable to known vulnerabilities which are discovered every day. Some of these are stored and sold for future use as zero-day exploits. A zero-day vulnerability is one which has been discovered but not yet passed. An exploit that attacks a zero-day vulnerability is called a zero-day exploit. So, management should not develop false sense of security because of vulnerability assessments or penetration tests that fail to find vulnerabilities. Instead of developing a false sense of security, these assessments should be reviewed as valuable tools which provides insight into an organization's current security posture and continuous improvement and proactive approach can help organizations effectively manage these threats. So this was all for today. I hope you have understood about vulnerability assessment and penetration testing, what is difference between them and what is the good time to conduct these tests. Thank you for patiently listening. Consider joining me on LinkedIn. See you in next video with another topic soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.